Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Will Brooke Logan take this chance to talk some sense into her daughter? The Bold and the Beautiful spoilers for Tuesday, January 16, 2024, show Hope is having major misgivings about Thomas and wants someone to talk to. Who better than Brooke? Tune in to witness how this goes down. The whole issue of Emma's years ago death has Hope extremely spooked. She can't image Thomas doing something so nasty as committing murder, but who knows? Did he have a hand in it? What he admitted was quite nasty. Hope wants assistance, so she seeks to her mom to confide in. It's no secret Brooke isn't a fan of her daughter's partner. In fact, she loathes him. She's tried and tried to make up with Thomas and give him the benefit of the doubt, but something always happens, every single time. Will Brooke take this and run with it? Surely, she'll grasp this chance to get Hope away from the one man she despises, right? Brooke is never one to mince words, and she's been waiting for this kind of opportunity for weeks. Watch for Luna and RG to take their romance to the next level. They're a lovely and playful duo, so ramping up the heat is a natural next step. Would it be everything they each imagined it would be? They're getting closer and closer by the day and can't wait to share their emotions. In case you missed these from last Friday, Soap Hub has your weekly, the bold and the beautiful spoilers all in one location. They let you know what your favorite Los Angeles power players will be up to in the days ahead. B&B Zend is demonstrating some toxic masculinity. We have some pity for the bold and the beautiful Zend Forrester Dominguez. He was treated a bit colossly at Forrester Creations in favor of RJ, one could understand how he was frustrated in being passed over to work with Eric, especially given he had more experience and better training. However, that doesn't make it oak to try to steal your cousin's girlfriend, even if she is as attractive as Luna. Up to this moment, Zend was fairly relatable. Though his fury may be justifiable, he surely isn't treating it the proper way. He may focus his displeasure into his designs and seek to shine brighter. Zending might stay respectable and have trust that his hard effort will finally be recognized. He can choose not to blame RJ for what has gone down in the company and try to protect his connection with his cousin. What does Zen do instead? He physically tricks poor Luna and attempts to press himself on her in a very disturbing way. Luna was so excited for a romantic date with RJ, but, lo and behold, there's Zend. Awkward. Luna handled herself quite well, being courteous but firm to Zend that she was only interested in RJ. A normal man might comprehend that the object of his devotion is just not interested, but Zend persevered and even tried to plant a kiss on Luna. Gracefully, she turned and offered her face. Doesn't this guy get the message? Apparently, not. Zend vs. RJ Zend continued to loiter and spy on Luna and RJ together at the office, and it seemed like he was not going to drop it. RJ ranting and going ballistic on him didn't appear to phase Zend either. What kind of person doesn't take no for an answer? Moreover, what type of man needs to steal another man's girl? A narcissist can't imagine that a woman wouldn't like him, and that is what Zend is starting to look like. Not a nice look. It is embarrassing to watch Zend make a bit of a fool of himself and still not get it. Especially given his recent romantic past on the program, with Paris choosing Carter over him. Will Zend ever get his mojo back and find a woman who genuinely wants him? Who would you want to watch Zend with? Let us know what you think in the comments below. The author's opinions on B&B &B are hers and hers alone. Just know this. Everything's based on pure emotion, be it right or entirely off. When it comes to the bold and the beautiful, every fan has their own perspective, and Soap Hub is no different. For five days, we sat and watched the good, the ugly, and everything in between. Here we lead with optimism. Unfortunately, we don't always receive what we want. I recall a few months ago, I was thinking, why aren't we hearing about the Forrester world from Thomas's perspective? 
He was a part of storylines that missed many of the more significant conversations. While the jury's still out on whether I'm entirely on board with this Sander accusing Thomas of murder tale, what I'm liking is that he's finally saying something. Something else than just his I love you, hope catchphrase. In Friday's show, he related his account of the night in the barber died. Now it's up to Hope to figure out whether she can live with what he confessed. The author's opinions on B and B are hers and hers alone. Just know this. Everything's based on pure emotion, be it right or entirely off. When it comes to the bold and the beautiful, every fan has their own perspective, and Soap Hub is no different. For five days, we sat and watched the good, the ugly, and everything in between. Here we lead with optimism. Unfortunately, we don't always receive what we want. So here's an assessment of B and B's week that was. I recall a few months ago, I was thinking, why aren't we hearing about the Forrester world from Thomas's perspective? He was a part of storylines that missed many of the more significant conversations. While the jury's still out on whether I'm entirely on board with this stander accusing Thomas of murder tale, what I'm liking is that he's finally saying something something else than just his I love you, hope catchphrase. In Friday's show, he related his account of the night in the barber died. Now it's up to Hope to figure out whether she can live with what he admitted. Meanwhile, Zend is sharing his thoughts and opinions a lot, especially where RG is concerned, and I'm here for it. Well, this week, RG reached a point where he couldn't keep back. He later unloaded all over Zend, emphasizing how, basically, Pathetic, the designer was but trying to lure Luna into a date. We'll see who wins that war at the end of the day. Also, Xander made sure his voice was heard, showing up at Finn's more than once to tell him about what happened all those years ago. Now he has Finn believing Thomas is a killer, which isn't doing him any favors with Steffi. Finally, Hope held her own with Liam, who's acting all kinds of nasty. First, he grinned his way through demanding answers to whether she loves Thomas. Second, he grinned his way through demanding she return his engagement ring to him. I like all this saying your piece. Other soak thoughts. Still processing. Finn versus Thomas. Not going to lie. This isn't a rivalry I wanted or was prepared for, but I'm reserving judgment. In my head, I wanted Finn and Thomas to become allies against Liam. Is that incorrect of me? Most hilarious moment. Thomas doing his best Finn impression, to Finn. As long as I live and breathe, you will never be with hope. Please keep more enjoyable moments like this coming. Ouch, that's got a hurt Zend dubbing RJ entitled and a golden child. Then RJ clapping back by calling Zend pitiful and telling him he needs to grab his sketchbook and back off. I'm giving Zend the edge here. Although, finally, Luna prevailed. Ouch, that's got to hurt. Luna friend zone Zend. She didn't even seem a bit torn. Maybe someday, as she gets to know Zend more, that sort of nuance will enter the equation. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.